Hey everybody, Reverend David Essel here, All Faith Minister, excited to bring you another message about love, hmm, about God's love for you, for me, and for everyone around us. Uh, today, actually, we're going to talk about a song from a group, and I'm going to bring it into um, the concept of God's love and and um, acceptance and, and lack of judgment, which we all need so much of, that comes from God's perspective anyway, according to um, my belief system. And the name of the band is The Cure, and the name of the song is A Love Song. And I think it's just so awesome because, did you realize, before I go any further, did you realize how many songs, when you're listening to the radio, or your CDs, or your iPod, or whatever it might be, are related to our spiritual and religious past. Do you know the words? You can listen to teeny bopper songs. You can listen to heavy metal. You can listen to, I'm serious, you can listen. You can find a message about God in about every genre of music out there. And I know because during my sermons, I use all this crazy music. I mean, some music's really crazy and some's really soft and gentle and just wild. Down in the future, I'm going to be doing, um, actually, I'll be talking about sermons on rock music and, and hard rock music. And, and I want to share this information with congregations around the United States because it's a way to touch different groups of people with the Word of God that normally wouldn't even want to come into a church or wouldn't even want to be tuned into a message like this, you know? So, and The Cure is a very unique band, if you know of The Cure, but go ahead and Google them, The Cure, and Love Song is the name of the song. Listen to these lyrics and how awesome they are about touching God and then God's response to us. Whenever I'm alone with you, you make me feel like I am home again. Whenever I am alone with you, you make me feel like I am whole again. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, it's like we're just praising God right now. Can I get an amen? You know, it's whenever I'm alone with you, you make me feel like I am home again. Whenever I'm alone with you, you make me feel like I am whole again. Doesn't that happen when we're connecting with God? When we're in prayer? And we can be going through all kinds of craziness, but if we're in prayer and service and we're with a group of other people or we're in prayer in our home, is that we can feel home. We can feel alone uh, or whole again. We can feel like we're really connected. I think it's just beautiful. Whenever I'm alone with you, you make me feel like I am young again. Whenever I'm alone with you, you make me feel like I am fun again. And then here's God's response. In my opinion, God's phrase in here is, and this is part of the song, however far away, I will always love you. However long I stay, I will always love you. Whatever words I say, I will always love you. So, you know, he's saying, however far away you may feel from me, I am still loving you. Whatever words you might say, I am still loving you. Wherever you may go, I am still loving you. I love you so much. This is my opinion of God. God is saying to us, I love you so much, you cannot do anything that you cannot be forgiven for. Can I get an amen? Isn't that incredible? You cannot do anything that you will not be forgiven for if you ask to be forgiven, if you repent, if you say, I am really sorry, please forgive me, and you do it with intention. You know, I've got great stories of people that I can tell you. Um, Hollywood Henderson, the, the, the professional football player with the Dallas Cowboys, he was a huge star on the covers of magazines and everything else. I don't know if I've told you this story before, but, you know, I mean, no matter how far away you go from me, God is saying, I will always love you. Uh, I'll tell you this brief story, and, and, um, and I think it's such a cool one. I was in a treatment center, a 30-day treatment center, um, to overcome addictions. And I was in there, and it, it was one of those centers where you go in for 30 days, you leave life, you go in. And for me, it was one of the most amazing experiences. And I, I'm going to share my God experience with you at some point that happened in the center that was so amazing. But they brought in speakers, you know, people that had graduated and that were in recovery from alcohol, drugs, everything in the world. And Hollywood Henderson was, was one of the guys. Google him on the internet. Amazing. You know, he was this incredible football player. And he's one of the one of the speakers that they brought in. And so I went up and introduced myself to him and had a chance to talk to him for a little while. And his story was incredible. But, you know, he went from this this outrageously talented football player to getting heavily involved with alcohol and, and crack cocaine. And he ended up getting arrested in this hotel, this like seedy crack hotel room um, with two young girls underage. And, and, and he had had paranoia going, I mean, just just 
through his brain constantly, always imagining people were after him. And finally he got busted and, and he was put in jail, right? And in jail, he has this unbelievable ascension. He has a resurrection. He has this incredible experience in jail. And he comes out a reformed man. And now he goes around the world talking about his recovery. He's written several books. And one of them is about, you know, that he talks about his recovery in the books and, and how, how down and out he was. But you know, no matter what he has done in his life, he's been forgiven. No matter what he did, he's been forgiven. If we go to God and we say, I am sorry, listen to these words, however far away, I will always love you. Isn't that incredible? Isn't that beautiful? For you to think and for me to think, I'll say for me, for me to think that no matter what I've thought about someone else that wasn't kind, no matter what I've said to someone else that wasn't kind, no matter what I've done that wasn't kind, if I ask sincerely for forgiveness, I will be forgiven. I think that's so beautiful. And, and in this song, it's just, it's, it, it's awesome to know that that is the truth. And you look at Hollywood Henderson and you look at other people that have come to the plate and said, well, I am really sorry. I'm really sorry for what I did. It was wrong. I apologize. Please forgive me. And God, in my opinion, and now this is Reverend David Essel's opinion, God says yes. If we're sincere, we keep coming back. You know, I've gotten into a habit at night of asking God if there's anything I've done, if there's anything I've said, if there's anything I thought that is not in alignment with your love, please forgive me. And I'll go back during the day and try to think of things, you know. And in recovery, one of the one of the practices that we do is if we do those things, we go back and, and we, we apologize, you know, to people in the past. We apologize for things that we've done that weren't kind. And I think this is a great thing to know, that God will forgive you right now. I love that. I just love that. That's how broad, how big, how deep his love is. If I can help you out in any way whatsoever, if I can help you as I'm a traveling minister, if your congregation needs a fill-in minister, if I can come in and fill in and, and, and uh, help you out, please let me know that. If I can help you personally one-on-one -on -one with your spiritual path, your relationships, whatever it might be, your flow of love, your flow of God energy in your, in your career, please let me know that as well, okay? TalkDavid.com, Talk. David.com is the website. Visit it. And don't forget, you can also subscribe to all of our YouTube videos and they'll be sent directly to you. Just go where you've seen this right now and go ahead and sign up, subscribe, and we'll have these things sent right over to you. How's that? <laughs> this is Reverend David Hassel wishing you the most amazing day. Bye-bye now.